Most Reverend Bishop Patrick Dunn, His Worship the Mayor Phil Goff, His Excellency Sanjeev Kohli, Guest Speaker Gautam Lewis, Members of Parliament, Mr. Bakshi and Melissa Lee, Mr. Peter Goodfellow, President of the National Party, Superior and Sisters of Mother Teresa, Missionaries of Charity, Representatives of the various faith communities, leaders and representatives of various communities, members and volunteers of Mother Teresa Interfaith Committee, media and friends. It's a great blessing to be the face of the Mother Teresa Interfaith Committee. This year, in September, Mother was canonized as a saint. The reason for canonizing was only for one reason, to let the world know and once again give a testimony of what Mother stood for, that's for love. Because most of us knew that Mother was a saint during her lifetime. Mother defined poverty and redefined poverty by saying that the poverty belongs both to the rich and the poor. The only difference between the rich and the poor in poverty is the poor are humble enough to show the visibility of the poor poverty, whereas the rich do not have the humility to know, to show the world that they are poor. It is the consumerism and the wealth that prevents them from showing the poverty. And she defined poverty as a deprivation of love. And that's what poverty belongs to both the rich and the poor. And today, in Auckland, we are celebrating the Mother Teresa Interfaith in a very special way because it's a year of canonization. The year started with the spiritual celebration of a Holy Mass by Bishop Patrick Dunn. Today we have the Mother Teresa Interfaith and we have none other than Gautam Lewis who has traveled all the way from UK as a testimony of what Mother's love is. He was abandoned when he was three years old because he had polio. Maybe his parents did not know how to cope with polio. Mother picked him up. And to cut the story short, because you'll be listening from him, an Irish lady adopted him. They went to London, went to the same school as Prince Charles. And he says, wearing the tie of the alumni, which even Prince Charles wears. And he rose up to become a pilot. He's running a pilot training school. And also he designed a plane, especially for teaching students with disabilities to be pilot. He's also a photographer and he's also making films. He has done this year being canonization, uh, photography and wants to show the love of mother through photographs. We are having a photographic exhibition the after tomorrow 29th, which is being inaugurated by Dame Susan DeVoy at 2.30 p.m. You will get the flyers, please come. And also, visit, and also for the public for one week to come and see at Regent College. Yesterday, he showed the movie of Mother Teresa for one hour in Henderson. I tell you, many were moved to tears to see what Mother Teresa means to the people at large. Friends, we are here today with one message from Mother Teresa, is to love and keep on loving. And she says, and she was speaking to the directors and executives, I will not name, of a very large global organization which caters to the needs of the people. And she told them, you're sitting here in these glass houses and in the corporate houses and in big buildings, trying to analyze what the poor needs, writing down projects and making all kind of analysis. She said, what the poor needs is to go and make contact with them. They need that love. And she said to the sisters of Mother Teresa, cater to the needs of the poor because tomorrow may be too late. Act today to the needs of the poor. And that's what the Mother, Mother Teresa's message for you and for me, that love. Take that love everywhere. Take that love everywhere. And today you've seen the representatives of seven faiths have come together in love in this city of Auckland to build this super city of Auckland, a city of love. And that is what, they have not come here to create divisions. They are here because they believe that the faith teaches them that we all have to unite in love. And before I conclude, I'm reminded of that one thing many of you may have heard. Human beings have learned to live like birds flying in the air. Women, human beings have learned to live like fishes by swimming in the water. But human beings 
still need to learn how to live like human beings, and that is with love. Thank you, and God bless you.